Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. I have a quick process video for you here using the Felicity Jane Catherine kit and I lost the beginning footage and I'm using this mint green 12 by 12 cardstock that came with the kit. I cut the berries into a four inch strip and used the stars from a branding strip. And then I sewed down the line just to add texture. Now I'm taking scrap pieces of paper and just layering my photo. Now this is a picture of my daughter and I going to Trader Joe's. This is the first time I had let her go grocery shopping with me since the beginning of March. And you'll see this picture. I just took a selfie um, at, while we were standing in line at Trader Joe's. And there's a person that's looking at my camera um, off in the top right corner and I'm gonna cover her up and make that one of the embellishment clusters. Now this is the third layout I'm doing with this kit and I'm already running out of embellishments and I try to just use the embellishments that come with the kit. That way I'm not always going off and looking for other scrapbooking supplies. I've managed to over the last year and a half only purchase kits so I'm not purchasing a lot of um, new scrapbooking supplies. Now I'm taking my Tim Holtz ruler and I am spelling out the title New Normal and I'm going to space that on top of the picture. I'm just making sure that no color is next to each other in the alphabet. No same color is next to each other <laughs> when I'm spelling out new normal. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not pressing this down firmly because as you'll see, I'm going to have to rearrange some of that, some of the alphas. Now I decided to use that pie graph um, to cover the lady that's in the top right hand corner, but I can't just leave it um, just in the middle of the picture. So I'm going to use one of the journaling labels that came with the kit and I'm going to ground that and cover up the girl as well. Now I'm going to go through the rest of my embellishments and I'm going to put a little die cut that says a little life update. Right now it says currently, but I'm going to change it. I'm going to adhere that down. I'm going to use Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and I have it in a fine line um, little tip so that I don't pull out a lot of the glue when I'm trying to adhere that down. Now I'm going to put this little heart down and I'm trying to get it under the puffy sticker so you'll see me struggle with that a little bit. And then I'm going to adhere the, um, the little life update with the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Now I'm putting that up so it gives a little texture because it's going to be lifting up above the higher than the um, label. Now I'm going through the rest of my embellishments and I decide to use this graph tag. And so I cut a little piece of crochet thread to thread the label and I'm going to adhere that to the top left hand corner of my photo. This is where I lift up the N and E in the word new to reposition that so that the label will be underneath the alphas. So I rearrange that. I look at my other embellishments to see what else I can use. And I see the puffy stickers and I'm going to put a bow to the top left hand corner of the photo. Now remember I don't have that many embellishments left so I'm just using what I have. I'm trying to see if I can stamp something somewhere and I really can't find anything to go with this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and start my journaling and I just decided to freehand it this time and I wrote this is what grocery shopping looks now looks like. Masks on, six feet of separation, can't bring in our own shopping bags, sanitizing hands as you walk in and out of the store. This was the first time I allowed Kaya to join me since the beginning of March. It's crazy how one can become accustomed to the new normal, but I can't wait until this COVID-19 is eradicated. After I write that, I'm going to um, put the date on there. And initially I used the Felicity Jane date stamp with the Versafine ink and I just stamped it on the bottom but then I wanted to use one of the labels die cut labels so what I do is I use the date stamp with um, stays on ink and I'm gonna re I'm gonna date that again and put that right over uh, where I first stamped it now the great thing about stays on is you can stamp on slickery surfaces and it dries pretty quickly 
So before I adhere that down, I want to put another embellishment right there. So I go through the puffy stickers and I'm just going to use that flower bunch and I'm going to adhere that down. And then I'll use the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals to um, raise the date label. Initially, I was going to just use the ATG, but then I um, decided to raise it up so that it could go above the, the branch of the leaves. The stem of the flowers. I couldn't think of what it was for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Just laughing at myself. Okay, of course, then I'm going to ink it. So I use the Dr. P.H. Martin black ink, and I'm going to ink it to the three areas of my um, embellishment clusters. And there you have it. That is my new quick layout called the new normal. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.